What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the house TD and so pretty much right now We are gonna go ahead and fight the final boss that we pretty much need the final crypt king boss Which is gonna be house spawn. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to the demon crypt and once we get inside, of course, we are going to go ahead and pretty much uh, use a different lineup. Unfortunately, the Krampus team is not going to be the one we're going to be using, which is one of my favorites. But unfortunately, uh, we are going to be using a different one. But it's not that big of a deal just because I am uh, a main for humans. And we're going to go ahead and pull out the flag just to go ahead and represent the team. And for you guys that don't know, pretty much right now we are using the Friendly Furries, which is one of the ones that are pretty much called. So pretty much, if you guys don't know what they uh, pretty much have in it, it's going to be Blood Claw and the Friendly Furries. You're going to have Jerome ASF. You're going to have um, Warblade. And Warblade's kind of a little bit kind of a little bit uh, different from actually being one. But the reason we call it that is because it does have leather on. Leather on. Leather. Words are hard. We also have uh, our Mage. And for the last one, pretty much you could go with anything you want. I know uh, Ice Queen definitely falls into a different category, but those are going to be the ones that we're going to be using. And of course, we are on level 50 on Horror, as you guys did see prior to that. So we're going to go ahead and start off, and I'm going to go ahead and put my Jerome here, and Warblade over here, and they're both going to be shiny. And pretty much Raftalia is going to be running the same kind of build. I'm not exactly sure what she has for her fifth unit. My fifth is going to be Ice Queen. Hers, I'm not 100% sure just yet. But I'm going to go ahead and drop as many Blood Claws as I possibly can just to defend the back lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one over here just because I do need a farmer. And pretty much for you guys who don't know what, exactly what a farmer is, a farmer is something that pretty much generates you income, mainly because I am a support class. But throughout this entire process, I'm pretty much not going to be getting any money until about like maybe wave 15 if i didn't have a farmer over here so i'm gonna have this guy over here farming for me i'm gonna try to max him out as much as i possibly can he should be able to get maxed out right now there you go and then we're gonna go ahead and continue putting the rest of our troops down and i'm gonna go ahead and put my demon mage right here in the middle just so then they could go ahead and support my troops as well as mega's troops as well so let's go ahead and max this one out all the way to the top perfect and then we're gonna go ahead and just continue by putting our blood claws up as well another thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put the last uh my last troop right here which is gonna be our queen and i did kind of max it out kind of weird it is at a level four and i do have uh i believe if i remember correctly it's two on speed one on range and i know a lot of people would argue that's probably not the greatest thing to do i decided to do it just to test it out because i was like why not i mean i'm not really going to be using the queen too often so i just wanted to kind of play around with it even though it's going to be the only one i have i just want to go ahead and see how it goes so let's go ahead and actually set a couple of these to last. So I'm going to be adding the back row to last just because sometimes, and this is true for some cases as well, it's not just this mode, but there's other modes. Sometimes when you're playing the game, some of the troops actually walk by or the enemy scouts walk by. And so we have our troops that are targeted on first, right? But sometimes there are some enemies that don't get like targeted first unless if they're like about to enter the exit. And so that's why we pretty much have our guys on last because we realize that it's probably better to have some on reserve just going ahead and getting the last one that's technically the first in some cases and pretty much to go ahead and weaken it so then once it processes to the game being like, hey, someone's here that's not supposed to be here. They all attack, they're already gonna be down a little bit on health. So that's pretty much it. And as we are pretty much almost done maxing out our guys here, and as you guys could have seen in the entire gameplay, they're not really getting any attacks here because they're mainly coming up from up here. I think right around like right now or about 10, there's gonna be a couple more that pop up. But aside from that, I think there's gonna be a solid uh, strategy, especially since we do have our banner, which gives us a 20% bonus if I do remember correctly. So that's pretty much the gist of it. And we do have Raftalia. I guess she did bring her uh, two Demon Queens and she's gonna pretty much have them right here in the middle so they could go ahead and do as much uh, freeze damage as possible. And you could definitely see the difference. She maxed hers out on range and I did not. You could definitely see the difference. I have haste one, not the greatest, but even at that, you could see what hers runs with Nightmare has. Nightmare, it's just wonderful. Look at that range, Jesus. And I think right now we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward to the boss. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So we're finally on wave 25 and the minions are gonna spawn out first. And then we should have house spawn coming out very, very soon. Where are you? Good morning, time to wake up. There he is. And here he comes. 
he's gonna have a 24 million yeah I think that's 24 million 150,000 health so pretty much he's gonna have a little bit of trouble right here we do have our blood claws kind of focusing down on him and we have the ones back here also focusing down on the ones in front let's actually see if we can knock him so we were able to knock him we i don't know i feel like we could have knocked his minions too if they were pretty close to the exit but here we go we got our pet we got the head we got 13 of the demon tokens and then we have 600 xp which is pretty pretty much a big w right there and so I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys uh, pretty much the head as well as a pet as I did for the other one. So let's go ahead and just load in real quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and move to the grass once again. And let's go ahead and actually pull out. There it is. We're going to equip that bad boy. Hal Spawn. Where are you? Is this him? Yep, that's him. King Hal Spawn pet. There we go. So this is going to be the head right here. It looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I do actually like it. It kind of has yeah it kind of has some alf ears right there pretty pretty dope pretty dope i do like it so far and then we have house spawn back here which has his big ass cleaver i'm gonna say it's a cleaver i think that's what it is i don't know it could be a cleaver but yeah what do you guys think about that i actually like the pet a little bit but out of all of them i think i think i like the revenant pet more out of all of them but for the heads i want to say that it's probably gonna be the house spawn just because i do love the color red and it is rocking those red eyes. Once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Big ass shout out to Mega Poopy Potato Bone once again. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for sticking around for all four of the crypts. And definitely stay tuned for the Meet Us one. Till then, take care, guys.